Uh, we are here to celebrate uh, the return to France of a stolen picture. Uh, this has been made possible thanks to the great uh, work made uh, by Interpol and by the customs, the US customs here. Called Blanchi sous Souffron des Dons, this painting from Edgar Degas was stolen in 1973 from the André Malraux Museum in Normandy. This masterpiece was rediscovered when it appeared in the Sotheby's auction catalog last November. Based on information working in um, cooperation with Interpol as well as our ICE attache office located in France, we were able to confirm the date it was stolen, all the appropriate receipts that were required to prove that it was a stolen painting. In addition, we issued an uh, ICE subpoena to the auction house requesting the provenance of the history of the painting. In the back of the painting were the letters RF, which stands for the Republic of France. In addition, the year of the painting, 1953, as well as the number eight, which stood as the eighth picture provided during that year uh, to the museum. Estimated to value between $350,000 to $450,000, this painting has a special place among the artist's work since he is usually more famous for his painting of ballerinas. Uh, he actually spent a year here uh, in New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, between 1872 and 1873, uh, where he painted a number of paintings of American scenes. And, uh, and, and those uh, themselves have been, uh, become quite well known. And this precise painting has a specific history which links it to the Second World War because it was given by André Malraux at the time of General de Gaulle in the 60s to the city of Le Havre uh, as a loan by uh, the Museum of Louvre. Symbol of a historic cooperation between France and the United States, the masterpiece will now cross the Atlantic to return to its place in the French fine art heritage. The formal return from my hands to yours. This is your, that is your painting. Thank you.